I've recently been leading a research team looking at ancient DNA from an underwater Mesolithic site in the Solent. And what we found there has revealed that the inhabitants at the site were 2,000 years ahead of their time. 8,000 years ago, the peoples of mainland Britain were firmly settled in the Mesolithic age and leading a hunter-gatherer existence. At the same time, the landmass of Britain altered dramatically as melting prehistoric glaciers caused the sea levels to rise. The team found that the last remaining land bridges between France and Britain were still intact 8,000 years ago, before the inundation completed the formation of the English Channel. The Mesolithic site at Bolton Cliff, where we collected our samples, was also submerged. Amongst our Bolton Cliff samples, we found ancient DNA evidence of wheat at the site, which was not seen in mainland Britain for another 2,000 years. However, wheat was already being grown in southern Europe. This is incredibly exciting because it means Boldness inhabitants were not as isolated as previously thought. In fact, they were in touch, one way or another, with more advanced Neolithic farming communities in southern Europe. As Britain entered the Neolithic, it finally became cut off from Europe. Other landmasses such as Dogger Island disappeared and Britain became the island we recognise today. It's clear that more research is now needed to establish a number of things. What was the relationship between the inhabitants of Boulder Cliff and the continent? Do the findings prove that trade links existed between Britain and the continent? How were the pre-submerged land bridges used? And what other evidence is there under the sea of Mesolithic to Neolithic transition in Britain 